And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. That's John chapter 2, verse 3. Now the narrative is about the, the wedding at Cana. Now the, the record says, When they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. This is my memory verse. I so love it. Now the three things that I want us to learn from this verse. Number one, things will run out. Yes, things will run out. Some will deplete, some will go into extinction. Things, because they are things, one day they will run out. So what's my point? Don't hold on to things. They will run out. Should you want to hold on to something, hold on to him who made things. Don't hold on to things. Hold on, on to the one who made things. Because the wine was what? It depleted. The wine ran out even at a wedding. The point number two I want us to learn is that things can run out even in the presence of Jesus. <laughs> Do you see that this wine ran out and Jesus was invited? What's the point there? I'm saying the wines of life can run out even in the presence of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You may be a Christian and have your wines of life running out. So number one, things will run out. Number two, they can run out even in the presence of Jesus. Don't hold on to things. Hold on unto him who made things. The wine ran out. Jesus was there. So what was the difference? I said things will run out and they can run out even in the presence of Jesus. The difference is this. When the wines of life run out and Jesus is there, you are going to experience a miracle of conversion. Just know that some waters are going to be turned into wine. I may not know how, I may not know when, but what I know is when the wines of life run out and Jesus is there, I'm going to experience a miracle of conversion. Yes, the wines will run out. Yes, they can run out in the presence of Jesus, but I'm going to experience a miracle of conversion. I said I want to, uh, to learn three things. Three things. Now, the third thing is this one. What do you do when the wines of life run out? When they run out, where do you go to? Who do you ask? What do you do when the wines of life run out? Things are going to deplete. Things are going to be in want. Things are going to be not enough. What are you going to do when the wines of life run out? Let's learn it from Mary. What did she do? She looked for Jesus. Were you aware she had many options? She could have asked of her friends, ladies, do you have wine at your place? We will repay you after the wedding. She would have asked gentlemen, where are the shops where we can find wine? She didn't do that. What did she do? She looked for Jesus' position. Don't look at the condition. Look at Jesus' position. Do you remember that day when the disciples were in the ship with Jesus? It is said that day when you were sleeping on the palace pill, they tried this and they tried that to make sure that the ship was secure, but it wasn't secured. Yet Jesus was there. They tried almost everything to no avail, but Jesus was there. They didn't wake him up. Only when it was too late, when they were about to perish. The master, where are you? Carest no doubt that we perish. They were struggling, yet Jesus was there. I'm saying, learn it from Mary. When the wine ran out, she looked for Jesus. Don't be like the disciples who are trying almost everything and Jesus is there. Why don't you look for Jesus when love is running out of your marriage? When finances are not balancing, when things are not in order, why don't you look for Jesus? When they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, they have no wine. Three things. Things will run out because they are things. Number two, they can run out even in the presence of Jesus. Being Jesus' friend doesn't exempt you from this concept of wines of life running out. They may run out in the presence of Jesus, but you are going to experience a miracle of conversion. The last thing was a question. What do you do when the wines of life are starting to run out? Look for Jesus' position. Don't look at the condition. This is my memory verse. Just my memory verse. Meet you next time on my memory verse. God bless you.
restore.